For another look right here, Mon Eagle from a TDOT Smartway camera. Today's wintry mix meant students in a few school districts got to go home early. Look at that shot right there. You can see that uh, gray patch right in the middle. That's where the road is in the yeah, middle of all, all that white. A lot of those emergency lights just slowing it down yeah. tonight. Sam Luther is live in Mon Eagle to show us why school leaders wasted no time making that decision. Hey there, Sam. Josh Kiley, that's right. Good afternoon. If you could believe it, this jacket was blue about 10 minutes ago. I did not wear a white jacket. If that gives you any idea of what the scenes like here in Marion County. Now, I spoke with Superintendent Mark Griffith earlier today who decided to make the call to cancel school, and I'm going to show you why here. It originally was a precautionary reason, but look at the scene here in Monteagle and Marion County. You see the snowfall. Substantial. That's not a dusting, folks. That's real snow. It ultimately, decided deciding to let all Marion County students out at one o'clock this afternoon. Any decision that you make like this is not not an easy decision to be quite honest. A decision met with gratitude by parents of Whitwell Elementary students that also came as a bit of a surprise. I think it's been too warm for it to actually do any damage because according to some in Marion County, we never get no snow <laughs> for today. This was enough to have school dismissed early in Marion, Van Buren, Cumberland and Sequatchie counties. I don't think it's right to play with weather and if they feel best to close school, then I think they need now, right now, we haven't seen any kind of bad accidents or any issues on this road behind me that you'll see. Now, a few moments ago, though, we did see two salt trucks come down and back and making sure that those roads were safe for people that are driving on them. Again, we haven't seen any kind of accidents or anything that should lead people to think that this is dangerous for the time being. But as you can see right now, the snow is still coming down. It's really picked up over the last couple hours to accumulate a little bit on this ground here in Marion County. I'm live tonight in Mon Eagle, Sam Luther, News Channel 9. Sam, thank you. We need to get Sam a new Channel 9 hat. <laughs> he has a lot of snow in his hair there. Yes. Yeah, so far, Bradley, Sequatchie County Schools, as well as Westside Christian Academy announced they will close tomorrow. Polk, Dade Counties will be on a two hour delay. You can keep up the closings and delays by going to our website, newschannel9.com, as we get more throughout the night. Let's go ahead and head to Sequatchie County side of the Signal Mountain. That's where we find Sydney Edwards tonight. Sydney, what's it looking like out there tonight? Josh and Kylie, like you said, we are up here on Signal Mountain, and I wanted to just tell you guys what we're seeing right now. You can tell the snow that's just piling up on the ground, and you can see it's coming down right now around us. Now, we spoke with TDOT and we spoke with Public Works. They've got crews out here. We've seen those trucks coming out. They're assessing the roads and making sure they've got everything they need in case things get worse tonight. We talked with Sequatchie Dispatch. They say they haven't had any accidents or any road closings reported to them yet. We also spoke with Hamilton County Dispatch that says the W is still open for folks to come up on that side of the mountain. Now, we also talked with some people that are preparing for the snow, preparing for the weather in general. We'll have more for you on that tonight at 10 and 11 on Fox Chattanooga and News Channel 9. So reporting live out here in Sequatchie County, Sydney Edwards with News Channel 9. All right, Sydney, thanks so much. This is a photo from Fredonia Mountain. You can see snow falling and covering the ground there, making it a pretty scene out there. Yeah. No doubt about that. Let's go right now to Lookout Mountain where we find Aaron Cooper tonight. Hello, Aaron. What are you seeing where you are? You guys, it is really coming down up here. We're seeing some bigger flakes now. If you look up to this light, you can see just how much wintry mix we really are seeing. Now, across this way, we're seeing that the roads are not frozen despite the fact that it is about 31, 32 degrees up here. So it is freezing, but look at these cars. It is sticking to these cars pretty intensely. If I touch it, here you go. Look at that. All that ice and sleet and snow, that lovely mix there happening right now. I'm very chilly, but right now, as I said, the roads are doing just fine, but that could change because it is below freezing up here. So please, if you're going to be driving around, please be careful, but we'll keep you updated on air and online at newschannel9.com with any school closings or, or road closings we may see in the future. For now, reporting live on Lookout Mountain, I'm Aaron Cooper, News Channel 9.
Okay, Aaron, thank you. Our viewers are helping us stay up to date uh, with what, uh, which areas are getting some winter weather out there. Gage Prophet sent us this photo from Pikeville. Gage. You can see there's enough snow there. He made a small snowman. I like him. It's yeah. so cute. Oh my gosh, check out this little guy. Uh, Kim sent us this photo from Dayton. This is her pup right there. Enjoying the weather. Look, he's catching uh, the snowflakes with his tongue there. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Talent. Do. Um, yeah, he, I guess, had a treat. She was holding a treat, you know. Right. Like Sure, he stayed put. <laughs> the trick that we all do as dog if, owners. If you have a dog, you know what that's all about, right? The treat motivated for sure. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, you can always stay up to date on the forecast with our Storm Track 9 app. It's free on the iPhone and Android phones. You just search WTVC Storm Track 9 in your phone's app store. You can turn on your location and those notifications.